there are two methods to fix this problem method one right click on the start menu and from this options click on device manager now in this window please locate the device named keyboards okay it is here expand it and then right click on its driver now from this options click on the first one update driver and if you are connected to internet then click on first link search automatically for updated driver software okay now let windows find and install some apt driver software for your device if you are not connected to internet or this search shows that uh, the best drivers for your device are already installed then go to the previous window by clicking on this back arrow and this time click on the second option here then click on the second option here let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer in this window select a driver shown here and uh, then click next okay now it shows that windows has successfully updated your driver close this window and now you are asked to restart your computer click yes then after restarting your problem should be fixed if the first method doesn't work then try the second method click on the start menu and then click on the settings icon you can open the window settings by simply clicking the windows key and the letter i together now in this window click on here ease of access now in the left pane go down and uh, click on here keyboard now in the right hand side turn on this option use the on screen keyboard okay now minimize this window now uh, right click on the start menu and from this options click on run now in the run command box uh, please type reject it using the on screen keyboard reject it as you can see on the screen then click ok now the registry editor window will open now in the left pane please expand the folder hk local machine and then expand the folder system then expand current control set then expand services now locate for a folder named i8042prt okay it is here now select this folder and then go to the right hand side and locate for a key named start okay it is here open it and then change its value digit from 0 to 1 then click ok close this window and now restart your computer after restarting your problem should be fixed i hope this video will help you thank you for watching this video by itech tips